On behalf of Touch Football Australia, welcome to the Inferno National Touch League. Touch Football Australia would like to acknowledge the Gumbangir people, traditional custodians of the lands on which we meet this week, and pays respect to their elders past, present and emerging. Please ensure you have your manager's pack and the conditions of entry next to you while we go through this presentation and refer to those documents throughout for further information. Touch Football Australia would like to acknowledge our NTL event partners, Destination New South Wales, Coffs Harbour City Council and Inferno. We thank them for their ongoing support. Should you need assistance in the lead up to or during the event, the names of the relevant tournament officials and key contacts are on your screen. Mobile phone numbers of those individuals are in your manager's pack. So please contact any of these individuals and they'll be sure to help you. Touch Football Australia will be communicating via the NTL specific team app, the TFA and NTL websites, our social media accounts and in the event of emergency, stadium PA system. Should we need to contact tool leaders directly, we will contact you via mobile phone if urgent. However, we will also provide daily newsletter updates on generic event information, which will be available on the NTL team app. As we mentioned, team app will play a large role in our communication. So we encourage everyone to download team app, which is available from the app store or Google play. Simply search for TMAP and once you have downloaded and registered for TMAP, search for National Touch League. The app will include all the news and provide push notifications in the event that we need to communicate en masse. It will also be the best place to check results, ladders and finals progressions. You can also see on the right hand side of your screen the social media handles Touch Football Australia will be using during the tournament. This year the results will only be available online. There will be no physical results board area. To view the results on Team App, go to National Touch League, then Fixtures and Results. Or to view the results on the TFA website, go to touchfootball.com.au. Under the Competitions tab, go to National, then National Touch League and select the division you would like to view. We will now cover off on some risk management items and policies that are in play at the event. The Protect Against COVID-19 at Touch Football guidelines will be implemented at this event. Although COVID restrictions have been reduced to minimise disruptions to the tournament, we highly recommend anyone attending the event does a rapid antigen test prior to travelling to Coffs Harbour. It will be extremely important that anyone who is feeling unwell or has any COVID-19 symptoms or have been advised they are a close contact and are required to isolate or is a current positive COVID case, do not attend the event or enter the event venue. Sanitise your hands on entry and exit. Sanitizer will be available around the event precinct. Reduce your time at the venue by following the get in, play, get out procedure, which the draw has been designed to enable this and to reduce the intermingling of multiple divisions. Spectators are to be a minimum of five metres back from the field of play. Where possible, fields will be roped off. Please stay behind these ropes. Everyone except teams who are warming up or playing will need to practice social distancing and keep 1.5 metres apart at all times. Entities are required to provide their own medical staff at the event. A doctor and a physio are available for serious injuries. Should you need a doctor or a physio, please flag Touch Football Australia event staff identifiable by the fluoro yellow and navy event staff shirts who will radio through for assistance to the relevant field or location. The Touch Football Australia event medical room will be located on the ground floor of the Northern Stadium. Please make sure you sanitise your hands on entry and exit. Touch Football Australia has released its own concussion policy. The new policy will be used at all TFA events. 
The aim of these guidelines is to ensure that all players with a suspected concussion receives timely and appropriate advice and care to safely return them to activities and sport. This policy is located on the Touch Football Australia website under the Policies tab at the bottom of the website. Unfortunately, we have experienced inclement weather at national events in the past. Therefore, if we do so again, either the hot weather policy or the wet weather policy contained within the TFA Extreme Weather Guidelines will come into effect. Please listen to the ground announcer and communications from the tournament officials if they will be implemented depending on the weather. There are several risks associated with the team tents and bringing in of various equipment into the facility. All of this is covered in your manager's pack. However, we would like to highlight a few items. Although COVID restrictions have been reduced, to minimise disruption to the tournament, we ask that anyone feeling unwell or has any COVID symptoms does not attend the event and gets tested. Everyone attending the event will still need to practice social distancing while not participating in games and practice regular hand hygiene. We ask that all electrical items brought into the stadium have been tagged and tested and is compliant with Australian standards prior to plugging them in at the stadium. Tents will not have water directly to them, but there will be water around at multiple points around the stadium. No ice baths are to be done on site and all post game recovery requiring water is to be done off site in a socially distant and COVID safe manner. Self catering or bringing in of catering companies to cater on site at the stadium is no longer permitted. However, you are more than welcome to prepare sandwiches at your accommodation to bring them along each day. Or there will be multiple canteens, a salad bar, the hub cafe, coffee vendors and a few other food vans in operation at the stadium, including gauge roads activating on site from 2pm on Friday and from 12pm on Saturday. No BYO is allowed. It is important that if you are preparing meals off site, please make sure you abide by food handling standards so that we avoid outbreaks of gastro or food poisoning that will impact the health and well-being of participants and the running of the event. Finally, should we need to evacuate the stadium for any reason, please listen to the stadium PA and abide by the instructions provided by the ground announcer or your nearest TFA event staff or stadium staff member. The assembly area will be fields 5 to 7. For those that have been to an NTL before in Coffs Harbour, you will be aware that traffic and parking can be quite busy at times. We therefore ask that you adhere to speed limits and road signs around the venue and use caution while driving and walking throughout the stadium precinct. There are several parking areas around the stadium which you can see on your screen in front of you in the blue including a new parking area next to the recently developed synthetic fields northwest of the main stadium. Carpooling with teammates is encouraged to reduce the number of vehicles requiring car parks. We please do not park in the garden beds around the venue. We also ask that you respect the disabled parking bays which are located in the first row of bays in the main stadium car park. Please avoid parking in disabled bays as we have had issues in the past where able-bodied drivers are taking up valuable disabled parking spaces, so we please do ask for your cooperation there. There will be no vehicle access into the tent area located in the car park or into the stadium. Pedestrian access to the stadium for all participants and spectators will be via the main southern and southeastern gates, gates 1, 4 and 6. The venue is a totally non-smoking venue and we ask that everyone refrains from smoking anywhere throughout the entire venue area. 
Alcohol is not to be brought into the venue, so please make sure your spectators and participants are aware of this. There will be a bar available on Friday from 2pm and Saturday from 12. There will be overnight security for the main event precinct, but as always we recommend that no valuable items are left behind because a security guard can't be everywhere at all times. A reminder that no spectator is to be within 5 metres of a playing field that is in play. So if you are watching your teams, please make sure that your spectators are back 5 metres from the field. There will be a number of ropes or markings around the outer fields to designate this 5 metre barrier. This is for the safety of the players, officials and the spectators as well. In terms of training fields, pre the event, the council have allowed us to use York Street Oval without a booking. However, trainings must be completed prior to 4 p.m. and is to be done at the southern end of York Street Oval. During the event, we ask for you to avoid warming up or cooling down on actual playing surfaces. There are plenty of space around the fields and we ask your cooperation to protect the playing surface not only for our event but for the many other users that frequent the stadium ongoing. In addition to Touch Football Australia staff, Coffs Harbour Stadium staff will be able to help entities with access to water and power and general facility inquiries. Please flag a TFA event staff and we will be able to put you in contact with the Coffs Harbour Stadium staff member. In terms of the disciplinary protocol, the key information is in your manager's pack. The main point that we want to raise on this particular slide is for you to be aware that the team can be penalised for the behaviour of officials and spectators. We would hate to see a vital game decided by the behaviour of someone off the field. So please make sure that you have advised all spectators and officials that their behaviour off the field can have an impact on the on-field result. For the next section, please make sure you refer to the conditions of entry as we go over these key dot points given their significance. NRL Films and Photos are the official photographers of Touch Football Australia. Action shots from the event will be available to purchase from Touch Football's photo shelter, the online photo shop. Uniforms. We do understand that from time to time there are issues with suppliers or players losing gear. However, we do ask you have contingency plans in place to ensure that at all times your players and officials are in correct full uniform. This is a national event and Touch Football Australia is striving for a professional image and it is a media broadcast event. So we have an obligation together to ensure our brand is protected and portrayed in the best possible light it can be. Therefore, we won't be accepting players and officials that are not in uniform and that goes from an incorrect hat to a different style of shirt. We expect that all teams are in exactly the same uniform and we do ask for your cooperation with this during the tournament. Also, in the event that a player does lose a shirt or a shirt is damaged, we do ask that you change the number of the player at the tournament information area. This is required due to a number of factors. Most noticeably, this is a selection event for a higher representation. So we want to be able to contact the correct individual if they have been selected for those honours. Also, in the event of any disciplinary issues, we want to be able to contact and have the correct player identified for those matters. So please ensure that you do complete a change of number form if you need to from the information area to change the player's number. In terms of the proof of eligibility challenges, Protests or eligibility claims can be made on days one and two of the event. We will not accept protests or eligibility claims after the completion of play on day two of the event. So if you have noticed anyone who you think might not be eligible, please address it as soon as possible.
It is the responsibility of each team to allocate an appropriate person to sign the score sheet at the end of each game. The appropriate person can be seen as the coach or the team manager. In signing the score sheet, the nominated person on behalf of their team has acknowledged and accepts information on the score sheet to be correct. This information includes full-time and half-time scores, playing shirt numbers of players, crossing off players not participating in that game, try scorers for both teams, and sinbin or dismissal sanctions. Touch Football Australia encourages all referees, team players and officials to communicate throughout the game to make sure all parties have the responsibility in ensuring the score sheet is correct. If you do not agree with the information on the score sheet, do not sign the score sheet and lodge a protest via your tour leader within 50 minutes of the conclusion of the game. The following information is to be provided with the protest. The team that tapped off at the direction of play. The order the scoring occurred, including player numbers for both teams. The half-time and full-time scores. The opposing team will be called to verify the score. If they do not agree or in the event of inc inclusive evidence, the score will be recorded as the scores the referees have recorded. Linked with the accuracy of the score sheet, teams can register up to 16 players each side. However, only 14 players per team can participate in each game. And therefore, we ask before the start of each game, you please cross out any individuals that will not be participating in that particular match. Penalties apply for teams that have more than 14 players participate. If you qualify to participate at NTL and are registered in the particular team, you can play finals regardless of how many preliminary games you have participated in. So any individuals that are not attending the first few days of competition, but will turn up later on, please also cross them off the score sheet. A maximum of 20 participants may be present on the playing surface, including the interchange area and permitted coaching positions in each game. For example, six players on the field, up to eight players in the interchange area, two non-players, and therefore in this instance, only four officials would be able to be involved. If there are more than 20, event staff will ask you to rectify. All of these participants must be in enclosed footwear, including any injured players. They must either all be in the official on-field playing uniform, if they're a player in the said game, or the off-field entity uniform, if they are a player not playing in the game, or an official such as a coach, manager, or medical staff. Interchanges are to occur within the 20 by 4 meter interchange area, displayed on the right of the screen. And only after players leaving the field of play have entered the interchange area. Coaches are permitted to position themselves at the end of the field, five metres back from the dead ball line. However, they cannot issue any verbal or physical commands directly to the team. They are observing only and can only communicate to the team or other staff in the interchange area by returning to the interchange area or by use of electronic communication. Failure to comply will result in the individuals being asked to leave the venue for the duration of the game and may result in further action. Event staff will ask you to rectify any of these situations immediately. We do ask that you show event staff respect and listen to their instructions. They will ask you to rectify as they notice any issues, whether it be on day one or with five minutes to go in the grand final. If you do not wish to be disturbed by event staff, please do the right thing from day one through to your last game. The drop off rule will be as per the eighth edition playing rules. If it is a draw at the end of regulation time and the drop off is required, teams will reduce to four players. There will be a tap at halfway by the team that did not commence the match in possession 
and teams will run in the same direction that they ended the game. There will be a two minute period of time played. If a team is in the lead at the expiration of two minutes, the team is declared the winner and the match is complete. If there is no result after two minutes, the match is paused at the next touch or dead ball. Teams are to reduce to three players. The match will recommence at the same place it was paused and until a try is scored. For further details, please refer to the 8th edition of the playing rules on the Touch Football Australia website. We will now cover off on some finals information. Four teams that are lucky enough to make the Opens and the Indomie Noodles All Abilities Grand Finals, the following provides you some information on the pre-grand final run-on elements. We ask that all players and officials in these divisions meet at the Northern Stadium Tunnel 10 minutes prior to the match, ready for the coin toss, and then for your players to be introduced onto the stadium in number order with your captains first. Players and referees will line up facing the grandstand for the national anthem and then the match will commence. You can see on the screen now a rundown on all presentation timings and locations. The Opens, Indomie Noodles All Abilities Divisions and the Referee Awards presentations will occur on Field 1. All other divisions will occur in the courtyard immediately as you enter the stadium area through the main gates. Individual NTL Tour Leader meetings will be held on Tuesday at C.X Coffs International Stadium. Please note all tour leaders have access through my sideline to view registered players. We ask that you use this function to ensure your players' details are correct for each team prior to the tournament, as well as any coaching or management staff. Playing shirt numbers for all players are due one week prior to the tournament. Any late registrations will need to attend the tool leader meeting to complete the online registration process. No further registrations will be accepted after this date. That is it in terms of the online tournament briefing. If you have any questions, your first point of call should be your tour leader. If the tour leader doesn't have the answer, they can contact Zoe Zanetti at Touch Football Australia, who will be able to help and assist them with your inquiry. We look forward to seeing you all in Coffs Harbour 